another video art lesson. My name is Allie. I'm the art teacher at Wildwood and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to create this shape and color dot painting. This is a great project for beginner artists because we're going to talk about some simple shapes, some basic colors, and also some beginner color theory and color mixing. For this project, this particular project, I use my DIY watercolor recipe, which uses food coloring to make watercolors at home. And that's so, just in case you don't have any paint lying around your house, but also I really like how vibrant and bright the colors are from these DIY watercolors. So our video, in our video today, I am going to go through our supplies, go through setup, and then we'll get started on our project. So the supplies we need for this project are pretty basic. First, we need paper, and this can be any type of paper you have lying around the house. We need cardstock or thin cardboard, and this is what we're going to be making our shape tracers out of. We need scissors. Just make sure your scissors are sharp enough to get through that cardstock or thin cardboard. We need watercolor. And you can use pre-made watercolor paint or our DIY watercolors, which you can find directions for in the description below. We need Q-tips. You can also use paint brushes, but to make it like our example, we need Q-tips. We also need a marker or something to draw your shapes with. And finally, when we paint, we always need watercolor, water and a paper towel for rinsing. So that just about does it for our supplies. Let's get started on our steps. So the first step of our project is to draw out our shapes. And I am going to just create three simple shapes. First, a triangle, which has one, two, three sides. Then I'm going to create a square, which has one, two, three, four sides. Whoops. And then finally a circle. And we start in one spot, bring our hand around, and finish where we started. Okay, there's my three basic shapes. And now my next step is to cut them out. After we have our shapes cut out, we need to arrange them on our paper. And you can do this any way you want. I'm just gonna kinda evenly space mine. And then I'm gonna secure them with masking tape. You don't have to do this, but it does help if they're secure on the paper. So these three basic shapes are important tools, important building blocks for artists because it's what all other shapes are made out of. More complex shapes like faces and landscapes are all made of basic shapes. But there are some artists like Wassily Kandinsky, Paul Clay, and our old friend Alma Thomas who use simple basic shapes and colors to make their finished artwork. So to begin painting, again, like I said, you can use paint brushes if you want, but I like to use Q-tips when I work with shape tracers like this, just because I think it's kind of a fun, different way to paint. And this is actually a favorite activity in the art room when we do it. So I'm just going to start with red and just start dotting my watercolor all around the very edge of my tracer. And you need to go right up to the edge, at least on that first kind of lap around your tracer, just because you want to make sure you have that um, crisp outline of your shape. I'm going to change over to yellow. And now I'm just using three primary colors, the, the three primary colors for this. And around each shape, I'm going to use two 
of my three primary colors just to see what colors they mix to make. So I'm using yellow and red around my circle and then I'm going to try them together. So yellow and red together make orange. Okay, so I'm going to keep circling around until I have color around my whole shape. And then I can start working my way out from my shape to start filling up my paper. And I'm actually going to use two Q-tips for this because it goes a little faster. Around my triangle, I'm going to use blue and yellow, which is going to make some green. And then around my square, I've got red and blue, which makes purple. And then once I'm done with my three basic shapes and my color mixing, I'm just going to add some color into the empty space and just use my pure primary colors just to show how the colors mix together. My final step is going to be to carefully take my tracers off the paper. You do want to be extra careful here because you don't want to rip your paper. You also might want to wait till yours dries, otherwise you're going to get paint all over your hands. And just a quick note to parents, if you're using the DIY watercolors, it is food coloring and it doesn't wash out of um, cloth, so make, you, make sure you're using a space where it's okay to make a mess. So that just about does it for our project. We used three basic shapes, a square, a triangle, and a circle. Our three primary colors, which mixed to make secondary colors. And that is the end of our shape and color project. I hope you had so much fun making this with me. You can customize this project in a million different ways. You can make different shapes, you can make more complex shapes, you can make more shapes and lay them out in your composition. You can also use a paintbrush instead of the Q-tips. Really, it's such a customizable project, so feel free to adapt it to suit your needs. So that's it for our video today. I hope everyone has a great week. Enjoy the beautiful sunshine. I can't wait until we are creating together in the art room again. Stay healthy, stay strong, and we'll see you again next week. Bye. Thank you.